Good morning students. In the last class, I have given you an activity, right? Hope you all completed it. After completing it, take a snap and send it to our WhatsApp number. So let's see. In the last class, we have discussed about the importance of the breakfast and we have learned the different food that contains different nutrients. So in this class, we are going to learn about it in detail. The first nutrient that is carbohydrates and fats. So here, this nutrient is called energy giving nutrients. For example, our body is working all the time. Even when you sleep, your body needs energy to work, right? For the, the carbohydrates are the foods which gives energy to your body. So let's see the carbohydrates that contains sugars, starches, fruits, grains, vegetables, etc. All these foods contain the carbohydrates. For example, we eat idli, even rice. So all these, even chapati, everything has carbohydrates. See, the carbohydrates are the foods which give energy to our body. The next nutrient is about fats. So here you can see the fat, the food which high in fat is fatty meat, cheese, butter, avocado, nuts, chocolates, all these things are contain high level of fat. So when you eat fat, it should be in the limited level and that is called healthy fat. If you're eating it in the unlimited level, what happens? It's stored in your body for the later use and that is called unhealthy fat. So if you're not doing any exercises, what happens? The unhealthy fat that becomes obese. So you will become overweight. Let's discuss about the junk food. What is meant by junk food? Junk food which contains only less nutrient. It has nice taste. It is yummy to eat. So we will eat a lot of food, right? So in that case, what happens? Our body required the nutrient amount will become less. The junk food, it contains only less nutrients. Let's discuss the disadvantages of the junk food. You are in the growing state. So if you are eating the junk food, what happens? The memory and learning issues you will have to face. The next one is digestive issues. It is not content of any fiber, right? So what happened? The food will just go as an undigested food. So even the digestive problems also will cause. The next one is obesity. Obesity means overweight. The overweight that causes heart disease. Next, nutrient deficiency. Fatigue, high cholesterol. What is fatigue? Fatigue means very tiredness. You always feel very tiredness. Next, growth and hormonal issues. So these are the disadvantages of the junk food. Hope you should avoid all the junk food. The next nutrient is protein. Protein is very much needed for our body and it is called body building nutrient. For example, the red meat, fish, egg, cheese, whole grain, breads and barley, all these contains protein. You might have seen the gymnastic people, they eat the protein rich food, right? Why you know? To build up their body mass. And you, and I think you also drink the health drinks like Horlicks, Boost, Bone Vita, all these contain the protein. Let's see some of the benefits of the protein food. The first one, it is good for your bones. Second one, it lower your blood pressure. It helps to maintain your weight. It increases the muscle mass and it helps you to stay fit. That's all about this class. So hope you all learned about the carbohydrates, fats and proteins. So let's do an activity. You can write down 10 energy giving and bodybuilding food that you have it in the daily basis. You can note down in your science notebook. So um, I can see once you have done, take a snap, send it to our school ID. Okay. So see you all in the next class. Take care. Bye.